good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching my show. <laughs> yes, it's me. And no, I'm not. I, I'm in the same place doing the same thing, just a different tabletop. Okay. So, yeah, I have noticed one thing and I can't do anything about it for now, but I will stabilize it a little bit better as time goes on. I have noticed that my um, screen is shaking, and that's due to my two air compressors on my on my um, oxygen concentrators that do the job for me. So let's see what this place looks like with the new glass. Well, with the new tabletop. Again, excuse the, the shaking going on. Also, you might feel or hear a blowing of the wind in my microphone. Uh, turns out that it's summer. And during the summer, it gets hot. And I like air circulation. And right now, there's a fan blowing on me. And if it gets hotter, I have an air conditioner that will start blowing on me. Just by putting it up there. I'm at the moment melting glass. Shape on shape melting glass. Cold weld. Having a clue. I do, but I don't at the same time. I'm working on rounds and getting around to it. Okay. Round it down. When you're sitting there playing, and there will be times that you can play, and that's the whole part of it, learn shapes. Right now I'm, for some reason in my head, round balls. Okay? Round balls. Over and over again. You can make these work for you. In a lot of respects. Sometimes simplicity itself is pretty. You don't have to make it complicated. And you can keep adding. Where you think, hey, I need a little bit more round. Well, now I need a little bit more round on the other side. I just did that on that side, and I realized I put a lot more, and now i got to put it a little bit more on this side to equalize the symmetry of it all. There we go. Okay. Round, round, and round it goes. Where it stops. Nobody knows. Round man. That's what this one's going to be. Almost looks like a snowman right now. But where I've got the cold weld, that's going to be the top. So I had a round ball here and a round ball there, and I've got me something that's a round man. I'm only going to make this little round man put a loop on his head and call it quits. See? That's the thing. 
you got to play. And yes, you could sit there for 20 minutes and go, on, ooh, ooh, let's put it like that. And ooh, ooh, let's put it like that. And ooh, ooh, let's put it like that. That's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes simplicity is simplicity itself. In the next little while, I'm going to very seriously consider doing some live video. I haven't figured out the whole logistics of it all yet, but I'll put it on YouTube and see, you know, put it up the flagpole, we'll see who salutes it. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm going to do to this guy. He's ugly enough as he is. Well, that's another thing I got to do. Now on my loops, I usually make a nice seal there. Pull some glass out a little bit like a start of a hair and then let gravity heat it up and let gravity loop it around for me. See there? And then I help it out a little bit. Seal it in. Make sure it's a good weld. And there you go. I usually graphite rod, ream it out, and there we go. Blue man. Second thing I made. The first thing I made on the new table was a flower. And that was with the flower thing that I did last time. I'm also going to be working on some more tubings because it looks like they work out real well. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.